Hey guys! Welcome to episode 11 of Tied Up With Strings. I'm Emma. I'm Taylor. And um, we did skip last week. We did Christmas. It was Christmas. I was in Tawa, or not Tawa, I was in Bay City. So that's really far from here. <laughs> well, and also we got behind on our week ahead. Yeah. Schedule. So we'll catch up eventually. So, but we're together again because today I'm going wedding dress shopping. It's gonna be so exciting. I am so, so exciting. Yeah. I already maybe cried a little bit on the way here. Oh. And I was like, just good thing of getting it out now. <laughs> okay, so um I'm going first today. We and... shared our favorite things here, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Yeah. But whatever. So my favorite thing today Ooh. is literally anything except uh slippers. <laughs> New projects. <laughs> <laughs> no no no, specifically. Not, not slippers. slippers. <laughs> because I have been knitting them for like two months. I had to pry Nick's off his feet to wash them. They were gross. Oh. Well, I mean, I want to be like, aw, but also. It's oh. gross. Well, well you know, because he's boy feet and he wears mm. them all the time. I'm sure your dad's got the same mm. thing. Anyway. Um, so additionally, what's nice about this project is that um, it's for myself. That's really not her normal. No, I'm trying to make the so it's almost 2019. I'm trying to make this year like the year where I focus more on making projects for myself, um, especially because I want to design a lot of a lot of things. And, yeah, um, you want to be a personal knitter this year. Yeah, um, so I am going to. Uh, Focus on myself a little bit more. But what is this? This specifically is... If you didn't watch Vlogmas. <laughs> yeah, this is the Dotted Wraith Shawl by Stephen West. It's my first West knit that I'm trying. Um, mm -hmm. And it's definitely one of his more, like, normal... I don't yeah. want to say normal. Less eccentric, maybe. It's easier to, like, normalize it with colors. Like, to, like, commonize it, maybe. Mm-hmm. Because Stephen West, a lot of More times... More wearable. Yeah. A lot of times I will look at Stephen West patterns, and just based on, like, the crazy bright colors that he mixes, it's just not really my style. Mm -hmm. Um, And so... Uh, this one though, it was knit up in his pattern. It was just one color, and so I was like, I like that. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, you always, you often have to go to his like uh, project pages. Yeah, to to see what other people have done, because yeah. otherwise you're like, what? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Um, but what, this this is the yarn is um, Birch Fire by Witch Candy Yarns. Yarn? It's a seventy five twenty five. Yeah, I think so. You can tell by the construction. Mm -hmm. It's a little thinner. Um, but yeah, so it's like, uh, like oranges and blacks and it looks, I actually have a skein, so I fell in love with this. See, that is much prettier to me than this. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, so I fe absolutely fell in love with this. This was one of those yarns where I, I like, set a timer. Oh yeah, so that's right. So that I right. could buy this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then it's, it's definitely very, like, uh, variegated and speckled and so I just didn't know like what project was gonna look good with yeah. it because I didn't want it to like the pattern to get lost yeah but this one it's just got all these like huge I'll do two yarn overs in these yeah and um so these got these huge eyelets in it and I think that that's gonna be and it's gonna bloom because it's garter stitch and it's yeah a yeah. Stephen West so it has an I-cord edge <laughs> yep it, which i love but mm -hmm. it's just gonna get huge mm -hmm. so it'll be great to warm up in. exactly what i want yep <laughs> absolutely well he's like six foot five mm -hmm. so for him to have a shawl that actually works for him is like mm -hmm. ridiculous so my thing um is remnants or remnant cuts of okay. fabric so this is and i'm not going to unfold the whole thing because we would be buried in it <laughs> but this is the back for my husband's t-shirt quilt and um, his quilt is about 78 by 72 inches. So to back that would be, uh, it was like five and three quarters yards or something like that. <sighs> Which at the price of fabric, quality fabric, is at least like $12 a yard. So do the math. I got this whole back for $18. Oh my god. So what quilt shops sometimes do, and specifically the quilt shop where I got this one, is um, if they have remnants, like a bolt that's not really selling quickly and they need the space, um, they will cut off like specific 
yard cuts. So they'll have like sometimes, depending on how much is left on the bolt, they'll have like one yard cuts, or in this case, it was three yard cuts. And that would normally be $12 for each three yard cut. And then we got there on the sale day <laughs> and they got them each for $9. So I got six yards of fabric for $18. Oh, wow. So I love remnant cuts. <laughs> They're the best. And like, the, you know, his quilt's black on the front. Mm-hmm. Um, but he said he liked this, so that's fine. He has a lot of reds and oranges in the t-shirts anyway, so it's not a huge deal. But yeah, looking for it that way is a good way to save yourself some money, which means I'm going to have to start looking that way for your wedding quilt because <laughs> I bought the whole top and <laughs> had a panic attack. I didn't actually, but mm-hmm. it was a moment. <laughs> and then I explained the colors to my mom. She goes, oh, Emma's going to love that. And I was like, you weird. <laughs> but okay so yeah remnant okay. cuts i'm so excited for my quilt i don't no one's ever made me a quilt before well yeah, no your that's grand aunt has yeah you got the grand valley quilt. grand valley quilt actually we were so i'm making her a double wedding ring which is a tr- tradition for many families in uh the continental united states but um also uh it it, it dates back to like uh roman times the oh, double wedding wow. ring symbol i did some research on it and um I was looking through old family photos while I was dying yarn this week, and I found an old picture that my grandma had taken um, of just, like, her new closet when she got it in. It was, like, a full wall of closets, and it was mirrored, and in it, you could see her bed, and there was their double wedding ring quilt on it. Aww. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't handle this. So it's a family tradition, so of course, mm-hmm. Emma, my sister, is going to get one. <laughs> so, there you go. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. All right. All right. Um, so we will see you, oh, well, you can find links to find us in the description below. Mm -hmm. Um, my yarn store, Emma's Patterns, our Ravelry pages, our Instagram, it's all down there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. I don't have any... What the, um... Oh, is this gonna go up before the trunk show? Yeah, in January. So this is going up tomorrow. Okay, so January 5th at the yarn garden in charlotte michigan um you can come see my yarns in person and hopefully buy many of them um (laughs) i will be having a trunk show there uh as the future dyer for the month so yes so definitely go check that out and her Mm -hmm. yarns are amazing i just did two new colorways yesterday so so yeah definitely we will see you guys later bye Bye. nice joint bye yes (laughs) we're we're on a psychic level here (laughs)